Today I'm going to show you how to make a Halloween cauldron. First thing you're going to need is a 24 inch black balloon, four long Q balloons, a hand pump, electric pump, glue gun, scissors, glue, five inch balloons, the vinyl, and transfer tape. First thing you're going to do is take a 24 inch balloon and blow it up. Push it towards your stomach to burp it so it's perfectly round. And now you're going to tie it. Wrap your fingers around and tie it. And now you have a punching balloon. <laughs> Take your cue balloon, put it into the pump. One, two, three, four, five. It's important to have a little bit of a tail on the end so you're able to tie it and then you can stretch it and bend it like so. Put it in, you tie it and you're going to put it on the bottom of your big balloon for your cauldron base. You can use low temperature glue gun for a lot of balloons. I don't like using them with Q balloons because I find a lot of times they pop them. So what I like to do is take glue dots and then secure it with crazy glue. I'm gonna cut off the end of the tail, try to find the center and push down. So what this is going to do is gonna start off giving us a base. So now you're gonna do the exact same thing you did with the first ring, except you're gonna make it a little bit bigger so it'll sit larger. Just like how this one is a smaller and it goes a little bit bigger. One, two, three, four, five, six. Double check before you tie it that it's a little bit bigger. Beautiful. Put it over so it doesn't, put it over so it doesn't fall. <laughs> Round circle. <laughs> now you're gonna take your glue dots and do the exact same thing we did. So match up your ends so that can be your back. Secure it down. So then you see, now you have this. Take your crazy glue, or you're just gonna go around and push it. See how it's lifting up right here? You know you need more. So you're just going to put some crazy glue. So there's your bottom. You're gonna do the exact same thing on the top. Hey, this is starting to look pretty good, like a cauldron. Now we're just gonna fill the fun stuff on the inside. I have five inch balloons. I'm gonna do mine in white and green, lime green. Kinda looks like a potion coming over. You are gonna pump them all between one, two, or three pumps. So I will just randomly do those. There's one. I also like to cut the neck of the balloon off just for one less thing to try to cover. One, two. I also know that you guys didn't want to sit here and watch me do this for a while, so I went ahead and did some earlier. So you're gonna, just gonna throw them all in there, make them all fit. I like to start with the bigger balloons and then the smaller ones build around. Put one right near the neck, a piece of glue dot. I always like to put a little crazy glue around it, like so, find your spot, stick it in. And then you're gonna keep repeating and repeating until your cauldron is full. Ta-da! I put a couple of curly cues inside. I filled in all around with the potion. The potion started to spray over top and then over time the cobwebs have started to grow, giving it a nice, cool, spooky Halloween effect. Not done yet though. I still want to put on some design on the front. I used my Cricut. I cut out this Happy Halloween display. I'm gonna put it on the front here and then I'll be done. So I am using transfer tape to help me do it. It's honestly one of the easiest things to use. Because I'm doing it on a balloon, I always like to, so it's a little easier to take off of the balloon. And then you're just gonna put it on top, push it down. So you just peel it off. You only got one shot, so make it right. It is vinyl, so I'm only kidding. You can lift it if you have to, but you risk the chance of popping the balloon, and that's a bad word in my life. We don't use the P word. All right, and then you just peel it back. My whole family knows we do not use that word. The kids don't use the P word. Like, no one uses the P word in my house. When you don't have an extra balloon and that happens, it's like, tear worthy. Which potion is complete? Doo -doo -doo. Turned out a lot better than I even expected. We got our happy Halloween on there with our cricket. Matches with the white and the green. Very Halloween-y. So this one has a waterway at the bottom. I made it a little bit too big, but that's still okay. This one's gonna be more for indoors. This one's gonna be more for outdoors, so it's not gonna fly away on us. Now let's take them outside and take a look. Now we know how to make the cauldrons. If you wanna learn how to make a balloon tower, click here. Also, if you wanna watch one of our installs on a garland, click this link. See ya.